afternoon we have the pleasure to have with us uh, the gentleman, uh, Professor en Enrico Pierangeli. Thank you. Uh, who was part of the team who uh, demonstrated uh, scientifically that if a vision is reality. Uh, I would like him uh, to tell us his impressions before starting the search, before uh, trying to look for scientific proof. Well, this uh, technique uh, to us was uh, something uh, impossible to, to be done. Was, uh, we were really shocked by this possibility. So we approached the problem with an open mind just to see, see what happens. But in the deep of our soul, there was the idea that it was something really impossible. For this reason, we started to ask volunteers we have, that have been trained by the engineer Mark Miserov with the technique of uh, InfoVisione and uh, we asked to these people with uh, eyes covered by a black thick mask to read words in uh, a computer and uh, to make sure that there was no light through the mask our laboratory with the cooperation of uh, professor Elio Conte from the laboratory of, of, from the school of quantistic physics of Bari in Italy we um, organized we, we prepared some masks with uh, instrumentation able to measure the quantity of light inside the mask. Once we were sure that the quantity of light inside the mask was zero, the experiment was done and the volunteers were able to read words into com the computer and uh, also when they were asked in which color were these words written, they were also able to describe the colors. This was for us a furthermore reason of uh, shock. So what happens? We thought a second proof and uh, Professor Elio Conte Professor of Quantistic Physics um, thought to insert inside the mask two cameras working with infrared rays. As you know, the infrared rays are unable to be um, recognized by the human retina, and so the pupils are dilated as they are in the full absence of light. So we did the experiment again with, with volunteers wearing this mask with the infrared telecameras and uh, at the same time the voluntary were having uh, a belt on the head to measure electroencephalogram and uh, a support on the finger to measure heart frequency and uh, um, autonomic system reactions. So with uh, these uh, parameters that were going on the computer, I repeat electroencephalogram, Earth, earth rate evaluation and the, the film of the pupils inside the mask. The experiment were, were done again and the voluntary were able to um, read the words and to describe perfectly 
the color of um, these words. So, before try to express any explanation, we just now recognize that this is a fact and, and then we will work for further uh, explanations. What was apparent since the beginning is that the so-called alpha waves, that are the waves uh, that are, uh, in, are produced by our brain when we are in a state of uh, full relax with closed eyes, if we ask the, to the voluntary, please close your eye and just relax. And so on the electroencephalogram, we see that there is uh, the presence of these alpha waves. If we ask to a, a, a person to open the eyes, the alpha waves, they are lost. They finish, change the pattern of waves of the electroencephalogram. What is uh, strange, strange, we, we just acknowledge the presence of alpha waves with, in the voluntary during the experiment when they were reading with open eyes inside the mask, uh, the electroencephalograms was showing alpha waves which are the ones normally related with relaxed state and closer to the eyes. So something that is very interesting. That's interesting but Quite has to be understood better mm -hmm. to work out. But we have to work out to so many other things, not only this. Right, right. So just at the moment we just acknowledge that infovision uh, is a fact. Then we'll see the, the future. Of course, the first tentative of scientific explanation is to look at information as a part of the quantistic vision of the world, according to quantistic physics. I would like now to ask you, uh, this question just came to me, from my own experience and from what I see to other people attending the seminar, Everybody, literally everybody, has the illusion that they are looking somehow below the, ma the mask or whatever, but the, the illusion is extremely strong. The participants themselves need to be explained and proved that they are not cheating, in what it comes. From your overall experience and knowledge as a scientist, would you be able to give uh, an explanation to this illusion? Well, myself, I got the same uh, difficulty or illusion that we can call illusion. Uh, uh, a possible explanation is very simple. We are accustomed to think as we have been trained to, of course. So if uh, we see through a small spot, which is the initial, um, the initial fact in the information training, a small, tiny spot, a little bit foggy, that after a while opens a little bit, became a little bit less foggy, and slowly, slowly start to enlarge. At the first moment, you may have the idea that some light comes through the mask, maybe from between the mask and the nose or something yes. like that. That yes. is usual because we don't have any different way of approaching the vision, of course. And that also is the reason why in the technique for only for learning, only during a learning process, is useful to use a mask that is uh, shaped in such a way to have the eyes open. Uh, open it. Um, because if we close our eyes, for us it's more difficult to activate what we call vision, general uh, idea that we have of vision. So, 
uh, we need some time to overcome our normal neurophysiological processes that have been just the result of normal training and uh, normal behavior. So, to acquire a new way of thinking and of seeing takes time, and maybe we have to activate, probably, I don't know, new synaptic ways. That's right. Problem. Yeah, that so is takes, right. takes time. Yeah, that comes with it's time. It's just the same uh, thing that if I can um, play um, um, any, any, any game, bas uh, let's say basketball, and I play right, to me it will be really difficult to play to understand what is happening during our training is just very simple. Think about a person playing basketball, usually play with right hand. To learn playing with left hand probably is necessary to tie up in a glove or something like that the right and he will be forced to use the left. At the beginning, will be in difficulty, will be in problems, in troubles. With time, we we'll learn. So it's just a new way of thinking that needs a new synaptic pathway. Okay. Thank you very much.